Hagen. I'm the manager of product planning on the site. Uh, gonna do a quick walk around for you guys. I'm gonna start back here at the business end of the truck. Obviously, this is what separates a truck from every other vehicle on the road is the truck bed here. Uh, a lot of, as Rich already highlighted, a lot of the similar technologies and features and things we did on the Titan that are available on Titan XD. So a lot of things that you guys are already very familiar with. Uh, I'll hit the high points and move along since you're pretty familiar with them, but uh, we, we do have an opportunity for questions. First thing that you'll notice is this drop down uh, step here. This is one of the items that we have on Titan. You can uh, push it up or kick it down. It's really nice tandem with the assisted and dampened tailgate so you can pick it up with one finger and close. If your hands are, you got, let's say you're carrying feed bags or something like that, that you're in the, in the, in the you can just drop it. It doesn't go boom, boom. And then you've got a nice step to get into the vehicle and out of the vehicle very comfortably, right? So it's a great feature. Uh, this is one of our available in an option package and also available on accessory that you could put on any Titan that you wanted to. In addition to those features, we have lighting, lights up the tailgate, uh, LED lighting under the rails and the chimsel that light up the bed. Quite honestly, I've told a lot of people this is very similar to a football stadium. It, it, this lights up like a stadium at night. If you were inside the bed in any perspective, you have a large object in the bed, I could be standing right here blocking all the light right here, but because I have all the other lighting around, I've got all the lighting in the bed. No matter which angle I'm standing or what object I've, I'm in, or what object is in the bed, I've got lighting all around the, the, the truck here. Um, we've got a 120 volt outlet in the bed here, so you can plug in uh, whatever you might need into a 110 outlet. Sorry, 110, not 120. And then we've got the Utilitrack rails. So we are the only manufacturer to do rails in both the sidewalls and then on the floor. So anything that you might need to tie down, whether it be a motorcycle where you really need to get compression on the suspension or anything else, you can tie down in this bed. Spray and bed liner. Basically, we call this our Swiss Army knife. This is our utility bed. You can do just about anything with it. So moving along here to the side of the vehicle, Rich already mentioned about our blind spot warning. You'll see indicators there on the mirrors. And then we have uh, the radar system is actually inside the bumper here. We have our rear sonar. Rich talked about the aerodynamics. You'll notice little things throughout the vehicle, just even like this, the notching on the tail, on the tail lamps to reduce uh, drag bed seals, all kinds of things throughout the truck to really improve the overall drag coefficient. As we move inside the vehicle, I love this area. One of the most, I guess I would say, uh, neglected part of the truck is the rear part of the cabin. If you will, look, you can one touch lift up seats. We've got a flat floor system here with a lockable under seat storage that you can fold up and you've got dividers and can put all kinds of things, long guns and everything else here in the center, in this, uh, in this under seat. You've also got a couple of grocery hooks on the bottom of the seat cushion. So you can take, if anybody's ever you know, picked up groceries on the way home and they've got pickles and jelly and all kinds of things, you can roll around in the bed or rolling out inside the cabin. Uh, these grocery hooks are fantastic. You can just take and hook the bags right on it's the small features and touches that make the life in the truck a lot easier and a lot nicer. And Ryan and Gary and those guys have spent a lot of time figuring out what a truck customers need and want. In addition to the seats folding up, they'll also fold down as well, provides you a nice place to set a laptop or work, write something on, and then you've got storage back behind the seat, which is a really nice feature. So like I said, kind of Swiss Army st storage pockets, you've got heated rear seats, 120 volt in the console in the back. Uh, one of the other things I'll mention about the back is we know a lot of contractors and stuff are going to be using these trucks, so we put as many con uh, cup holders as possible in the truck. So actually in this, there are 16 cup holders. You've got bottle holders in each of the doors. We've got cup holders in the back of the console, in the, uh, the flip down portion here in the, in the armrest. We've got them in the front as well, reconfigurable, so you can actually take those out and can move them around. And then if anybody's ever had to fit a big 32 ounce Gatorade in a truck and find a place for that, uh, this is how inconvenient that is. We actually have storage for that in the center console as well that you can place those down and keep them really nicely and secure. So that's that's wonderful. Um, moving here to the front of the truck, I'm not gonna hit over everything. I, I already mentioned about the big, huge center console, 15 inch laptop, you can put Gatorades in it, iPad storage, map, map, uh, you know, map pocket, if you will, here on the side. Heated and cooled seats are zero gravity seats. If anybody hasn't spent any time, you'll get the opportunity to spend about two hours here in just a little while. You'll notice how wonderfully comfortable these seats are. You don't have fatigue. You don't have the hot spots that really make you tired and fatigued over time. So these seats are wonderful. 
Uh, laminated side glass, as Rich already mentioned, to make the, com the uh, interior really comfortable and quiet. Large tow mirrors that extend out and fold. And then coming around to the front of the truck, obviously the same look and style that we have for the Titan XD, just a little bit smaller. Uh, we've repositioned the tow hooks, as Rich mentioned, here in the front, and then our uh, steel skid plate here in the front radiator with the underbody skid plates as well for the Pro 4X model. Pro 4X also comes with hill descent control, which you guys will get to see out here in just a little bit, how well it performs. Really gives a lot of confidence and comfort to the customer. He's going a downhill scene or she's going a downhill scene where you lose traction or you just don't feel confident because it is so steep. That uh, downhill speed control adds a lot of confidence. And then we have electronic locking rear, uh, rear differential. So you lose traction, you need to be able to lock those two wheels together and really make sure you have power going to the right tire. Uh, we can do that as well. So. Uh, last note I'll make about it is you notice the cameras on the tailgate in the front here in the grill and then underneath each of the, the mirrors we have a 360 degree or round view monitor system so you get the bird's eye view looking down and see 360 degrees around the truck. You'll notice when you're out here on the off-road course you may come up to a cone, a bush or something like that and it automatically activates. You'll hear the sonar go off and it detects something. The cameras will, be, will automatically go on at low speed which is a really wonderful feature. And try it out if, in a, if you get an opportunity. Tap the camera button a second time, and you'll get a dedicated view of the right-hand side. It's just like you have a spotter sitting standing outside the vehicle, giving you the view of the right-hand tire. You can see everything right in the in the, the viewfinder on the in the radio. So it's a wonderful feature if you're off-roading, trying to avoid a ledge or a boulder or whatever else. Mm -hmm.